Section 308 of the Nigerian 1999 Constitution provides immunity from prosecution for president, vice president, governor and deputy governor during the time in office. Specifically, it states, notwithstanding anything to the contrary in this constitution, no civil or criminal proceedings shall be instituted or continued against a person to whom this section applies during this period of office. This immunity clause has been a subject of debate. If you look at the international criminal, for instance, the concept of immunity doesn't, doesn't exist in that jurisdiction. Because if you commit any crime under Article 5 of the Rome Statute, that is war crime, genocide, crime against humanity, uh, all of that, you, you can't be availed um, immunity. If we look at the Nigerian um, case, um, there is the contradiction. When a president or vice president, a governor or deputy governor comes into office, they have to swear to uphold the constitution. Now, having sworn to uphold the constitution, if they violate that same constitution by committing crimes, why should the constitution grant them immunity? Against what many Nigerians felt would have been a milestone in the anti-graft crusade, the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, in a report dated May 5, 2024, denied releasing a list of 58 former governors said to be under investigation for allegedly misappropriating 2.187 trillion naira over 25 years. It, however, confirmed ongoing investigations of some former governors. How soon, if at all, will justice run its course? It is a question around a fair justice system. It's a question around discriminatory law enforcement. We are younger people you know, for stealing Yahoo Yahoo people. And where did can see the FCC going after Yahoo Yahoo? But well, how many times have the FCC commented this issue around mortar and the petroleum uh, of, of fuel in mortar? In African states where there is a sit tight syndrome, where you can have um, presidents who are there for many years. If a crime happens and they continue to pile up the crimes, even the witnesses may die before the time for the prosecution, or there will be so much that has overwhelmed the state such that the idea around prosecuting a certain crime will be discarded because of the many issues that need to be dealt with. How can the rule of law be observed with the immunity clause in place? Immunity does not protect against investigation. Immunity only preserves prosecution. So nothing stops the police, the uh, EFCC, or any other law enforcement agency from prosecuting, from investigating criminal actions, even if they are covered by immunity. There are only a state that has been captured, a state that is at the heart criminal and corrupt state. So instead of them to prosecute fairly, they prosecute based on you know, discretion. The issue of accountability is important for any relations, particularly um, governance, for it to go well. Because once powers cannot be interrogated, then it will be power on rampage. Then people will do whatever they want to do because they know that accountability will not catch up with them. The governors, the, the deputy governors, the president, the, the vice president should be at the forefront of protecting the laws, should even be the ones championing themselves and saying, look, we want to be accountable. As the nation grapples with economic challenges, critics assert that removing this protection would help restore accountability and promote good governance. From Lagos for News Central, Likon Onobanjo.